Time, the show that actually teaches you how to improve your home. Morning, Al. Morning, Tim. Honey, well, I'm today, freezing Al. cold. Well, we got Feel my hands. Hey! hey. Ooh, I'll warm them. Here, slip me the Taylor toast o -matic oven. <laughs> you know, Those you babies are colder than witches. Damn. <laughs> Honey, this is destined to become a classic. What is this, the third time you've watched it? Yeah, action, drama, latex paint, and... God, I look good in that dust, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, really, honey, I'm so cold. Would you go down and check the furnace? Because I, I think that the pilot light must be out. You're saying lighting the pilot's a man's job? No, I'm saying it's your job. <laughs> <laughs> look, you're afraid to go down that deep, dark basement, aren't you? No, I'm not afraid. Just don't like it, you know, when the furnace goes whoosh. All right, I'll light the pilot light. I got a big kiss. Do I have to? You have to. Okay, but only if I really have to. Oh, gross! It's not even dark yet. <laughs> Ignore her, maybe they'll go away. <laughs> no, honey, you really, you have to do the furnace now. Because Mark's whole scout troop is coming over, and I don't want a house full of little frozen cub sickles. Right away. Dad, Dad, check this out. I can turn a future with these cars. A kid at school showed me how. Okay. I got the three diamonds. That means I'm going to be rich. Okay, fourth card from the top shirt card. Feel it, buddy. One, two, three. Ha! Ace of Spados, read it and weep. What? It's a death card, Dad. <laughs> yeah, right. Let me deal with those. Let's cut them like a man, huh? <laughs> okay. You can see it now. Cars, cash, big homes, boats. Death. <laughs> Death. Yeah, how long do you think I have? Long enough to light the furnace. She's right. We got work to do. And down the basement. Because one day, boys, you will have a cold woman of your own. You have to learn how to light her furnace. Come on, come on. Down the basement. Come on, guys. Okay, guys. Come on down to the basement. The climate control central our house. Now watch what you're doing. Oh. 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 I want you guys to meet a friend of mine, a Benford Volcano Master 5000. A quantum leap ahead of the 4000 model, which we replaced earlier this year. This is 150,000 BTU. What's a BTU? Technical term. What's it stand for? U is because it's a unit. B is because it's a big, beautiful Benford. That's B. T is heat. Big heat unit. That's what this is. Dad, heat starts with H. Give me that flashlight, will you? Dad, heat starts with H. Heat ends with T. Heat. 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 Uh, working on a furnace is a delicate operation, almost like working on a time bomb. Wow, that's how he's going to die. He's going to blow himself up. <laughs> no, that's not how I'm going to die, because your dad is going to practice furnace safety tips. Okay, access panel here says press button, hold 15 seconds, and... Open your mouth so the shockwaves from the blast will make your head explode. <laughs> Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No explosion, no death. Why? Why? Because your dad laughs in the face of fear. <laughs> ah Excuse me, fellas. Jill, set it back to auto, and the heat is now working, hon. Oh. <laughs> what was that?
It's just a mouse or something, probably. What if it's not a mouse? It could be a snake. Hey, there's nothing funny about snakes. Don't joke about that. There's nothing funny <laughs> about slimy reptiles. Nothing. Hey, maybe it's a big, huge python. Enough, enough. It's a mouse. A mouse. Now, of course, it could be a huge one. It likes to eat little kids like you. Just... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to have the whole scout troop make their own paper bag masks. Is that all? Billy's mom helped us make a real TV. She did? Yeah, and she made us beef jerky from raw meat. Billy's mom is a Stepford wife. You're getting pizza and paper bag masks. Well... I better put on my uniform. Honey, mission accomplished. Furnace is lit, operational. That, however, is the good news. The good news? What's the bad news? Well, I can't tell you. You'll probably go crazy. Oh, please. I never go crazy. I found something soft and furry that rhymes with house. Oh, God. There's a famous one named Mickey. <laughs> It's a mouse. God, a mouse with beady little eyes and toe jammy little nails. Chill. It's just a little innocent thing. Kim, they are dirty. They carry disease. They eat garbage. So do the boys. You're not afraid of them. Yes, I am. You hear that? Tim, don't. I thought I heard toenails, toe jammy things. Stop screaming. it! Stop it! They're so little and they're so quick, they just run out anywhere and right at people's backs like. Quit, just quit! <laughs> hey, hey, it's in the basement. Get off the chair, please. Yeah. Well, you please just call an exterminator? Exterminator? Yeah. Pest control is my domain. Termites fear me. Mice whisper my name. Hey, forget it, the cheese. Come back to the hole. It's Tim. Come on, come on. <laughs> He'll kill you. He'll kill you. I'll go see if Wilson has any traps. No, no, don't kill it. From filthy little vermin to your fuzzy little friend. Where did that start? Well, just because I don't like it doesn't mean I want to see it dead. Otherwise, I'd have set traps for your mother years ago. The trap wouldn't stop her. She'd just chew her leg off. <laughs> Wilson! Hi-ho, neighbor. Hey, Wilson, do you have any of those humane traps for mice? Since when did you become a trapper, Tim? Well, Wilson, I think I heard a mouse in my basement, and Jill got real freaked out over that itty-bitty thing. Can you believe that? Well, fear is perfectly natural. Everybody's afraid of something. What about you, Wilson? What are you afraid of? I do have one underlying fear, Tim. I'm afraid that reality as we know it is someone else's dream. Tim. When the dreamer wakes, I'll no longer exist. Wilson, I wouldn't share that with too many people. Uh, back to the trap thing. Sure, good buddy. So you said you heard noises in the kitchen? No, in the basement. In the basement? Yeah. yeah. You've been hearing all sorts of what? Scratching noises? Well, kind of a more of a rustling. Rustling? Mm-hmm. Kim, my boy, I don't think you have a problem with mice. Right. No, no, no. It sounds like you might have a snake. Go! Go! You're Go. scared of snakes, Tim. Oof, man. Hey, snakes are supposed to live in the woods. Well, this whole area used to be woods, Tim, but as man has taken over his habitat, they become suburban snakes. <laughs> suburban snakes. Mm -hmm. Or they, like, work here, commute back to the woods, eh? <laughs> No, they could be right here living in your own backyard. Or somebody in the neighborhood could be breeding snakes. All you need is a cardboard box and a light bulb. What kind of sicko would breed snakes? Well, Tim, snakes are clean, low-maintenance pets. Plus, they have a very firm, nutty-tasting flesh. <laughs> so, 
So, what's the deal? Are you going to set some traps? Russell doesn't think we need one. We call an exterminator. Why? He doesn't think we have mice. Oh, no. It's a rat. Worse. Snake. Snake? Where? <laughs> oh, no. God, not a snake. I thought... Wait a minute. Didn't you tell me that you saw a mouse? Well, I didn't see it in the visual sense. Well, you jerk, you lied to me. I didn't lie, I was kidding. Kidding? Mom, Dad, come look what I found. Just a second, face. Randy, just a second. Kidding, you were just torturing me with all those little mouse sounds. Well, come on, what's the big deal? Everybody likes to be scared. It's fun. Fun. Dad! What is it? God, look, oh, oh holy! I found the snake skin. <laughs> Exterminator found anything down there? Not yet. Damn, honey, what's taking him so long? Tim, we have a yard full of children. We're supposed to be setting an example. You have got to calm down. Have a cookie. Hot cookie. Oh, hot cookie. Sorry. Yeah, the exterminator wants to borrow a screwdriver. Well, you know they're in the top tray. Open it up. Get it inside. Oh, you always say not to touch your tools. You better get them on. What's he want? Standard Davis, Phillips, Flathead, what? Flathead. A snake? Sorry, I uh, did my best, but I didn't find a thing. Nothing cool ever happens around here. Randy, did you, you tell me there's not a snake in this house? Oh, it's probably moseyed on back outside. That happens nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. Uh-huh. What happens the other time? <laughs> I tell you, it's funny. Those snakes, yeah, they pop right up out of the strangest places. Boy, I could write a book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen them curl up inside of uh, teapots. That, oh, there was one time, there was one time. Popped right up out of the toilet. Of course, like I said, that's rare. <laughs> Besides, you don't have anything to worry about, judging from that skin your boy found. It's not poisonous. Well, I'll see you, folks. Well, wait, 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 wait. Wouldn't you like to uh, stay and have a cup of coffee? Yeah, I got lots of appointments. Well, doodaloo. Bye. Mom, do you know Wagner wants to go home? Why? He got the death card. Randy! Come on, don't be a weenie. Everybody's got to die somehow. Hey, guys, get away from me. Come on, go back in the house. Go back in the house. You all right? I don't want to die. Oh, yeah. You're not going to die. But I got the death card. Oh, forget the death card. I got two death cards a day, and I didn't die. They were teasing you. But I'm scared. Oh, boy, come here. Everybody's scared of something. Are you ever afraid? My dad's never afraid. He's the bravest man in the whole world. You guys, Ollie, even brave guys get afraid. You know, you know what a brave man does when he's afraid? What? He, he, he scares away fear. Jimmy, you gotta be scarier than fear itself. That's what you gotta do. How do you do that? Well, look at me. Get a real ugly face on. Ugh. Pretty ugly, huh? I don't know. You look at fear and you go, you grunt. Can <laughs> you try that? <laughs> well, that would work if you had just a little fear. Now, it's a big fear. You gotta get a deep down manly grunt. Mark, show him what I'm talking about. <laughs> See how scary that guy looks? Are you guys trapped? Oh. Very ugly. All right, try it. Give me one good one. I need a real good two in a row. All right, three in a row. Let's do it. Ah, ah, ah. Come on, guys. Ah, ah. There's no fear here. Get out of here, sir. Ah, 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 ah. Huh? Mom wants you to order pizza. Pizza! Hey, you guys stay out here and practice grunting. I'll get the pizza. Number for the pizza place is by the phone. Thanks, Jill. Oh. Hi. How many pizzas will we need? Four large, but, you know, get different toppings. All right. I need four larges with two meat. Hold on a minute. Is anybody allergic to anything out there? 
All right, all right, all right. Apparently, we need a big cheese pizza with decongestant all over it. <laughs> I'm kidding around, fella. All right, two cheese, one with pepperoni and sausage on. Oh, and a snake! That is a snake in my house, right there. Wait, 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 wait. That is okay, a snake. Okay, everybody, quiet down. Clear it. Tim, Tim, hang up the phone. I'll call the exterminator on the other phone. Why don't you get the snake out, Dad? Why don't you shut up, Randy? <laughs> hey! Uh, Dad, just stick your finger in the light. When the snake bites it, pull him out. <laughs> we talk early. Maybe you didn't hear Dad the first time. Shut up. Okay, I've got the exterminator on the phone, but he says he can't come for an hour. An hour? Where's he going to crawl in an hour? Uh -huh. Who knows? Okay, he, he says that you should look in the light fixture and see if the snake is still there. Right. Can I talk to him for a minute? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, you're right. He says you're supposed to look in the light fixture and see if it's still there. Me? Oh, no, 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 no. I think you should do it. I'm so busy right now. Tim, get over there and look in that light fixture. I don't want to. Go ahead, Mr. Taylor. You're not afraid, are you, Mr. Taylor? My dad's not afraid of anything. Show him, Dad. Show him you're not scared. Uh, uh, let's get ourselves a snake. Yeah! All right, all right. All right Cut scouts. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right. You can watch the all right. class. Thanks. What? Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Brad, I need a pillowcase out of your bedroom. Hurry up. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Sets. Reach in that little tiny opening. Get that little tiny snake by the back of his little tiny neck, pull him out of that little tiny hole, and put him gently in a pillowcase. You're gonna do that? That's his plan. My plan. <laughs> I'm gonna rip that light fixture right off that wall, <laughs> shove that into a pillowcase. All right, all right, all right, Brad, Brad. Stand right there under the light, and I'll jump that snake right in there. No way. No way. Come on, Randy, help me out. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Does that make you happy your mom's doing it? It's fine by us. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Ready? Ready. Calm? No, I, I can't. <laughs> There it is, boys. Plan your work. Work your plan. The key to success. <laughs> Dad. Yeah. There's a snake behind you. Oh, I bet there is. <laughs> Dad, he's serious. It's right behind you. Does it have that card of death in its mouth? You know, guys, I fell for that trick this morning. Toolbox, remember that? Huh? And you can take a practical joke too far, you know that. Dad, we're not joking. It's moving towards you. Why don't I just open my shirt and let him crawl right in, huh? The snake wasn't in the bag. The snake is in my shirt! Stupid. <laughs> Felt like a jerk in front of those Cub Scouts today. Ah, uh, they had a great time and they learned some colorful new vocabulary. <laughs> Here, Dad, I made this for you. What is it? It's a snake badge for bravery. Hey, that's very impressive. Would you wear it on your TV show? 
I bet I would. Mmm, a good kid. Good night, Dad. Good night. Good night, sweetie. Good night, Mommy. My youngest son gave me a snake badge for bravery. You did get rid of that snake. But in all honesty, I couldn't have done it without you. I think it's yours. Well, I will share it. You know, I think we deserve a little pampering. Mm -hmm. How would you like to have a nice hot bath with bubbles? I'd like that, bubbles. <laughs>